bedtime for bonzos when there's nothing to do. Don't do it, you dumb, dumb baby. I can't take it. Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? Look at what I finally have. I downloaded the Notion. I'm gonna move my head so you can actually see. I downloaded the Notion, the perfectionist run tracker Notion. That's $8. I'm beyond excited to track to see what we need to do. Fill in your farm information at get started. So this is synced to other areas. What are we? We're a lychee farm, right? Or with my chilaquiles? I named my pet chilaquiles, right? Horse name, you already know. Poo, spouse name, we don't have. Uh, we don't have that. Okay, so I did that. I did this, completed. Read the perfectionist usage guide. I'm just gonna put that in progress. I don't, I don't know about all that yet. Build clock, ship everyone, no. Build earth obelisk, no. No, 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 no. I didn't know you have to do the complete all monster eradication goals. Oh my gosh. Oh, it links you to the wiki, that's cute. This is so nice. Spring. <gasps> is this like from the start? Like if you use this from the start, it, it gives you some goals. Spring bundles, spring crops planning. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Th look at this. Y'all, this is necessary. I wish I had this. I wish I had this earlier. Amazing. So fishing. So we should go through all these. I love this. This, Y'all, this is so much easier than the companion app. I wonder if the relationships show universal. Love that. Haley hates prismatic shard. Penny hates rabbit foot. Look at this. That means they have like every item in the game on here. This is way, way worth, this is worth way more than $8. Birthday, loves, likes, shop schedules. Oh my God. Museum collection. And they have a picture for everything. Okay, this is great. So maybe on my flight, <laughs> I'm flying out tomorrow, which I can finally talk about this with y'all because it's happening tomorrow. So it will be over already. Sunday, which means I can talk about it and I can't talk about it until then. I'm gonna be speaking at Comic-Con, which is so exciting. Um, it's through TikTok and TikTok always hooks it up with me. They're amazing, they're so nice. But it's gonna be um, me, Leilindria, who's another TikToker. And I'm sure if you're in the cozy gaming community, you know of her. Uh, Cleo, he's like a gamer, he was in Holes. Um, and then it's Chill Rod, I think is his name. He does like tech stuff on TikTok. Um, and we're just doing like a TikTok panel, like how, like our content backgrounds on it, like advice for people, just like our niches and stuff like that. Um, I'm really excited. And it's a little bit stressful because I'm flying in tomorrow morning. It's tomorrow night. I'm still like working tomorrow because I didn't want to take time off <laughs> because I feel like I have been taking a lot of time off. So, but I'm really, um, I don't have a lot going on tomorrow, so it's fine. The, the 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 panel's at like eight also, so it's nice. So like eight on a Friday at Comic-Con. We're gonna see how it is. I'm just excited. I've never been to Comic-Con. The TikTok organizer, he's like super excited about Comic-Con. Like you can tell he goes like every year and he loves it. And he was like getting getting us all excited for it. Like there's so much to do, da 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 And like definitely explore beforehand, but like make sure you're on time. And yeah, I'm excited. And then I'm flying back. I wanted to fly back that night but the latest flights were like at 10.30 and I didn't want to cut it close. So um, I'm flying back like really early the next morning. That Saturday, I fly back. I have to drive down to my boyfriend's like hometown because his best friend is having a wedding. And so we're doing the wedding on Sunday, but we're doing like wedding stuff on Saturday. It's gonna be a long weekend. I told my boyfriend that. <laughs> I will be crying. I will be crying at the end of the weekend. And I don't even get to stream, so I don't even get to hang out with, with y'all on stream. I don't know why. Why did I go into this? Why did I, why would, why? Oh, cause I said I was gonna do this on the plane. So now y'all know, I'm, I'm speaking at Comic-Con. I'm so excited. I can't wait to fill y'all in on the next episode and tell y'all how it went, hopefully well. Um, but yes, I will be crying um, out of stress releasing this Sunday. Yeah, so I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna work on like checking off the things that we have um, on the plane or in the airport. And then we'll have a better idea next time. I'm trying to figure out farmer level. Oh, here. Open. Oh, I see. Okay, we're definitely 10 with farming. That is so cool. That is so cool. 
Yeah, I think fishing and combat were... Ooh, okay, yeah. Anyways, this is exciting. I really like it. If y'all are looking for a tracker, if y'all are type A people, you like to see everything laid out, definitely get this. The only thing I would say is I kind of wish it were a little bit more. Like, yeah, you just, I don't know. I guess that's, maybe that's just me being, maybe that's just me being stupid, but I, I kind of would have liked to see like a bigger homepage, if that makes sense. Like, I'd like to see these like brought out. I don't know how that would work if you if you have this major checklist, but it would be kind of cool. It would be cool. I have none of these checked. It's just because I have none of these checked yet. That's why I feel I feel inadequate. Okay, well, done with that. Let's actually play the game. Thank you for uh, entertaining me. Thank you for listening to me talk about my life and weekend and life stress, but also fun stuff that I'm excited about. Okay, let's let's start. <laughs> Hi, I lied. I went to get dinner. I'm back now. Let's start. So, um, Ed, my editor, they said that I should probably still have to put something in the box. I probably have to put the battery in the box. I probably didn't do that. Well, actually, they said that the box is always there. So when I went down and, and checked to see, wait, but then I would have the club card. Yeah, I don't have a club card. See, I don't have a club card. I didn't do it. Sheila's antsy. Get ready. Just get ready. Okay, so I need to find a battery. Oh, I have one. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see. Where's the box? Where's the box? Where's, oh. <gasps> I can't believe this whole time I didn't do that. This whole time I just didn't do that. Bring a rainbow shell. I'm gonna do that right now. Do it right now, matter of fact. Matter of fact, where's Pooh? Do it right now. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. I literally have like nothing else to do right now. It's winter, I might as well do all my little my little side tasks. What's happening? Sheila boy, you just antsy, you wanna go downstairs? You can't go downstairs though, cause I, I made pasta, Sheila. And I have a big bowl of it downstairs that I don't wanna put away yet, cause it's steaming hot. And you will eat it. So you're not, you're actually not allowed to leave, unfortunately. And, and to punish me, he's just gonna knock shit off of every counter. It's a little game we have, you know, it's fun. We have fun. Yay, immediately a note falls down. 10 beats inside Mary Lewis's fridge. Fuck. I don't think I have 10 beats. I don't, there's no way I have 10 beats. Nah. Where do you even get beet seeds? The desert? <gasps> My shed. <laughs> My shed is large and in charge. And now the setup doesn't make sense. And now I'm, oh my God. <gasps> you know what would make sense actually? Sort of, if I have just two, if I have a third row here, that would make sense. Then I could do a little plant and chair over here and some windows. That'd make sense. I'll just have rows, okay? It feels huge. It feels weird. I don't like it. It's weird. It's so weird. It makes me feel so small before I, I accepted such a small life. I don't have a single beat. Not one beat. Did I put them like in? I might have put them. Ooh, wait, I have things I could put out. I might have put some beats in. Can I put chairs on top of this? <gasps> I can. I'm gonna do it like a this. And then like a this. So cute. Okay, where the hell did I say I might have beats? The fridge. Let's check. Let's check. I have a an, another exciting collab that I think I could talk about it. I don't know. I need to figure out the rules of talking about things before, but I didn't sign an NDA. Sometimes I have to. I didn't in this case. Hmm. Well, it's a gaming laptop company or a company that makes gaming laptops rather. And I'm so excited about it. I hope, I hope fingies cross that it, you know, actually happens. <gasps> we have one beat. We got one beat. I'm gonna leave it in there just in case. Just in case. Cause if I don't have if I don't have any beats in, on Ginger Island, there's no point. I get I'm just I'm screwed. I think what I did is I sold them all. Cause I was like, why would I need beats? Here I am needing beats. So bad. Um yeah, I was I was really wanting to buy a gaming laptop because hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. My steam. <laughs> this is gonna sound like so it was so very spoiled and privileged of me. I mean, it's not gonna sound. It is very spoiled and privileged of me. I ordered a Steam Deck, and that what that kind of serves the purpose of like being able to play any of the games that I only have on my PC handheld. But for one, it's not coming for a while, or at least I think it's not coming for a while. And two, it's really cool that it docks and all that. But two, there's like still some. I, I'm, I think I've heard some mixed reviews. 
and there's still some like lagginess to it and yada 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 so i wanted to get a gaming laptop because i want to be able to sit on my little butt and play games in my bed i want to do it in a way where there's a big screen and i could burn the tops of my thighs doing so and i want to also be able to bring stuff on trips and yeah a steam deck can do all of those things but can it do it well i don't know and i don't have it yet so anyways those are all my reasons why it's easier for me to like test out games to whatever 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 and so that's why i want to go in i don't know why i'm trying to justify uh me a gaming content creator needing to buy a laptop but i feel like i need to okay so this came at a perfect time is what i'm saying i don't have to purchase one i don't have to purchase one myself hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed knock on wood yeah hopefully i can this 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 um actually happens and i can have one and then i could tell y'all if it's worth it and if you should get one too and compare it to the steam deck and see which one is better for all of us cozy gamers um anyways i thought of that because um uh, my question of the day is if there is one thing you've had on your wish list for like so long and you can just have it in your hands right now what would it be like any literally anything doesn't have to be tech related doesn't have to be gaming related or it can what have you had on your wish list for so freaking long and you're like please 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 if the world just put this in my laps right now i'd be a happy happy camper because mine mine has been for a while a gaming laptop <laughs> asking you shall receive i guess shoot shoot god darn oh we're getting so much wine y'all oh my god also i'm planning on putting this in on a tiktok but this i will put it in my amazon storefront shortly if it's not already there on my setup my gaming setup but it's a you know i'm sure if any of you have like attention things like i do you've gotten this on your tiktok where it's like this little timer it has numbers on the sides and people are like if you flip it you know you flip it to like five minutes or ten minutes whatever it's good for like taking breaks or staying on task whatever whatever a while ago i saw it's not gonna be open ay yay hoy i don't have anything else to do here i don't need anything else here Ugh, i'm just gonna go chop shit down in the woods get back all that uh wood that i lost back back like probably uh, almost a year ago now yeah because i think it was when i was no it was like right after i was studying for the bar um i saw a video saying the same thing but it was one of those like little kitchen clock digital timers that didn't work for me i hated it i hated the sound i hated like having to set it it's just something about it being digital and like annoying and beepy it just bleh. i couldn't i couldn't touch it i couldn't look at it so that didn't work for me and i was like well i guess timers just will never work for me i guess that's just not my thing it's not for me um and then i saw this thing and i was like that's that's better we're 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 at a, at a better start here but it was not cute something about it looked very clinical didn't make me happy didn't spark joy uh again i think i would be annoyed that it was in my presence although less beepy less beepy and annoying so i just searched on amazon and voila found that so if you want it, you can get it. You can head over to my storefront link or you can just search like cube light, cube desk light timer. <laughs> That'll work too. Um, if you don't feel like paying me through Amazon. <laughs> I haven't like actually used it yet. But it's really, it's cool. Like you turn it upside down to turn it off. See, it just turns off. There's two light settings. So you could do like super bright. I have it on like less bright. This is off. There's like 15, 5, 30 and an hour. Then you can just keep it on by turning it like this. It's so cute. And then it doesn't make a beepy sound. It just, the light just turns off after the timer. And I love that. You know what I haven't been doing is getting hardwood. I don't know that I necessarily need it for anything, but I probably will, and then I'm gonna be mad that I wasn't getting it this whole time. But I don't learn my lessons. <gasps> Ancient sword, do I already have that? I think I do. Yes. Don't mind me, just a chopping. Oh no, I gots to get back. I don't know where Pooh is. This is not a new phenomenon, but I don't know where Pooh is, and it would be helpful to have Pooh to get home. Just an observation. Oh, <laughs> there's Pooh! Hey, buddy. That was so convenient. Thank you. I really didn't want to have to do that slow walk up here. I kind of hate how the cockles look. They look like they're about to talk to me, and I don't like it at all. Also, I think I talked to... Damn, we got a lot of wood. Oh, we got, we, I forget we get hardwood from, what's it called now? Just regular ones now from the profession, whatever profession we have. Well, we got to go to Clint's tomorrow. Don't let me forget. 
I thought this was my house. It's not. It's not my house. Oh, no, I didn't. I just have things. Okay. I have things to sort, but I can't because it's late and I need to go to sleep. Oh, I was saying that I think I talked about this on stream, but not any of this couch back. Not on here, but I've been listening to Savage Lovecast lately. Did I talk about it on here? No, I didn't. Which is this podcast with this guy, Dan Savage. Oh, yes. Perfect. Ah, do I have the recipe for poppy seed muffins? Oh, those are cookies. Kennedy, come on. Yay. I did it. Oh, I have another beat here. Interesting. I have two beats. I have three. I have four. Okay. This is actually... um unsettling me a bit because let's see i feel like these are the last of our beats is why why that's unsettling to me i think we only have five beats if we have any on ginger island right now oh my god i would die please take this gray ass muffin please thank you um yeah i'm savage lovecast dan savage he's been doing this for like years years like this the latest one's like episode 819 or something i'm talking years so much content to go through and he just gives like relationship sex like sexuality mainly like relationship and it can be like romantic or not um advice and so people could call in and he gives advice i normally don't like advice columns because i feel like i never like half the time i'll agree with them and the other half will be like no i guess or there are times when i feel like they're not like they're kind of like towing the line on purpose and like not actually giving a straight answer dan savage will give you an answer and i agree with him 99.9% .9 of the time. Sometimes he has a take where I'm like, Dan, you just, you're a little bit out of touch. Just a little bit. That's like 0.01% because he is in the know with like most things. And he's like an older gay man, like has been in, you know, queer communities and stuff for years and years. And so he's just, he's, he's in the know. He's great. He's in an open relationship. And like, there's a lot of people that call in with like non-monogamy questions and things like that as well. And like, that's always an interesting perspective to hear. It's, it's, it's good. It's juicy sometimes. It's like listening to someone's like drama for fun. And then you get to hear it like resolved. It's great. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend that one if I haven't already talked about it, but I forget about it every now and then, but I got Boo hooked on it too. So we've been like listening to the episodes together. <laughs> it's so funny. He'll like text me and be like, babe, did you hear episode 814? Da, 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 da. Go listen. You have to go listen. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I think he's more into it than, than I am now, but I love it. Okay. Um, get, oh my God. No, I did do animals yesterday. Oh, please. Okay. I need to do that first and then... Then I need to go to Clint's and then I need to go to Ginger Island. In that order. I'm doing animals so quick. So quick. Hello, Chila boy. I know you're antsy. I know you're antsy. Just give it a couple. Just give it a little bit of time, okay? He's not He's not giving it a little bit of time, y'all. Sheila, I can't see it. I need to get to Clint's. Please. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. Hi, Chila boy. It's crazy to think about, like, how much love life y'all have been through with me that's crazy to think about like i know I, I sometimes i get like emotional and reflective about things but truly like now in in the f the friend groups like the cozy family friend group and like discord and stuff that we have we've literally been friends for over a year and have talked like i w honestly i would say once a day like average <laughs> average like once every other day i just i don't like i don't have friendships like that in my life besides like one maya but like, I just, I am someone who's like so content being by myself and to have like this group of people, y'all, a lot of y'all, I know some of y'all are just like silent watchers and I love that. I appreciate that. But like, just like we've, we've been here for so long and we've been like here for each other for so long. And I feel like that's a testament to something to what I don't know, but it's, it's a testament to something because we're all just so comfy here <laughs> and it hasn't gotten old and I feel like that's new. Is that new? Big sight? I haven't seen that. Oh, damn it. It's kind of sworn. What about these guys? Yeah, got them all. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's like, it's just nice. It's just nice. Consistency is nice. And it's just one of those things where it's like now it just feels like, it feels like family, which sounds cheesy and corny, but like it just, it genuinely feels like y'all feel like family to me. My Discord friends, my stream friends, like everyone, I, who, however many of you intersect in those circles also, like, it really feels like family. Like, y'all aren't going anywhere. <laughs> and I, I don't feel that way about a lot of people. I don't feel that way about a lot of people. I don't even feel that way about my own, a lot of my own family. 
yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's really nice. And I think it's, I think it's, I, you know, what I think it's, it is a testament to is how good of people you all are that I feel safe enough to keep returning to this place in this space and to the discord and sharing parts of me and i feel um heard are these beats fuck rhubarb shit i feel safe enough i feel heard enough as well because i feel like i feel heard enough to have the energy to reciprocate the care and the listening and the being there for people in the community and things like that and I think that tends to be my issue in IRL friendships is that like I often don't feel like it's reciprocated so then I don't have the energy to give it out so I'm like if it's not gonna be reciprocated <gasps> we got one more okay so we need four more beets god where do we get beet seeds shoot gosh darn I don't know where we get beet seeds y'all no come here one two three four five six we have six beets oh, okay i'm gonna i'm gonna plant this peach tree i don't know why i planted these things over here yeah anyways i'm rambling per usual, but i just i really appreciate y'all i love y'all i hope you know that you always have a space here if you haven't like been somebody that's active in the discord if you don't want to be still literally no pressure i understand i am not a part of any i can't i can't we were just talking about this in community games the other week but like being a part of other discords is so hard and like it's just so hard it's a lot of energy it's hard it's hard to like jump into a community and like start fresh so please know that i understand but if you haven't and you're like you know what maybe maybe it's time maybe it's time please do please jump in at any at any point we're like very welcoming and we support each other a lot through a lot of different things and yeah and it really does just like feel like family so i just want to provide that for anybody who wants it and who need just needs the little nudge the little nudgy nudge you know we're there for you I guess I'll just sell these? I don't know. What was my purpose in these? I'm just gonna sell. Now let's put this, st oh wait, I still have things to harvest. Um, is that all I was gonna say? Yes, I was just reflecting on how long it's been, consistency. Oh, and just like the life things. I know I've talked about this before and I've been like, what life things have we gone through together like on your end? And hearing that was just like so, I loved hearing those answers from y'all. And if you're recently joining and you wanna answer it again, please tell me in the comments, like what life things have you gone through so far while watching this playthrough, I wanna know. But like to think, I started this playthrough in a completely different relationship. <laughs> on two laptops i was filming on two laptops and a plugged in mic and i had to sync the gameplay i had to sync my video and i had to sync my voice and it took hours and hours um to edit and to learn how to edit as i was going and it was such a freaking wild ride man went through the end of law school studying for the bar starting a job <laughs> starting a new relationship y'all have been here through everything and I appreciate that. Now let's make this house a home. Oh, did I not bring floors? I hate this, I hate it. Okay, this is cute though, I enjoy this. And I'll do, okay. I'm gonna make this room pink. <gasps> cute, I like that a lot actually. Why though, why am I getting like forced into having this like wood shit? What if I don't want that? Hmm? What if I don't want that? It's fine, I'll deal with it. Um, I don't like the lattice flooring, so I would like to get rid of that. Oh my god, it's overrun. Did I really leave it that long? I just went to bed. There was nothing else for me to do. I realized I didn't really narrate that, but don't know what to tell you. But time for bonzos when there's nothing to do. The spirits are neutral. Interesting. Not what I wanted to hear. Well, I can get out of here. Resting not easy, knowing I do not have the amount of beats that I need to fulfill this quest, and then I could have gotten them at any point. Where are the other walnuts? Huh? I'm wondering if I should just stay and work on work on some walnuts, actually. Because we did the volcano. Where else are walnuts? You're telling me they're hidden in places outside of the volcano? Sounds false. One buried in the north. You're a dirty liar. You're a dirty liar. You're a dirty liar. Where? I feel like someone actually commented on this. But did they see me already get the ones? I don't know y'all, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dig. I'm digging. I'm just gonna dig wide, dig far. No one can stop me. Just gonna dig. Like, where would it be buried? Where? Besties, ain't no way. <sighs> Friends, it's just not, it's not true. 
They're lying to me. Every single one I've done. Every single spot that could be spotted, I spotted it. Okay, not everyone, but now. All right, that's no longer the north. So now you're lying, now you're actually lying to me. Not a single spot, not a single spot. There's no, there's nothing buried in the north. And now I'm mad because I feel lied to. I feel bamboozled. I feel like I've been, I've been, I've been whipped round and round. I've been made to, made to look a fool. It's preposterous. All for what? I could go home empty handed. Six beats in my hand. Zero walnuts. No, please. I can't take it. I can't take that I just spent the whole day doing nothing, digging the ground. Do they, get, do they go to bedsies at six or seven? Fingers crossed for seven. Yay. They still love me. Yes, record time. I think that was the first time I was like racing to get them. Usually it's like a, I either did or didn't. Sorry, folks. This is about to be a long process. Oh my god, I have to wake up at like 3 a.m. tomorrow to get to the airport. And I also am not taking a carry or a checked bag. I usually take a checked bag when it's like something that... Some kind of like content thing. Because I want to take like all my hair stuff and like multiple outfits to choose from. Now I'm literally just taking a backpack. Which makes sense because I'm only staying one night. Basically just like a full day and leaving in the morning. Do I like it? No. But I had to, had to pare down drastically. I had to just decide here and now what outfits I was wearing. What outfit. Can I make mango banana wine? We'll have to see. And pineapple? The beets are staying with me. Putting the beats over yonder. I went to sleep. I keep zoning out when it's time to go to sleep. I sorted. I slept. Last day. We're starting the day off with poo because you know what? I mean, with animals because I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know where to go from here. The, the only thing I could think to do is to just work on walnuts. But I feel like I have to look up solutions because... I have no idea where I, I searched everywhere in the north. Did y'all just look up solutions for walnuts or did you? I'm not, I, I, I'm a solution girl, okay? I got through all, all of Luigi's Mansion 3 from just looking up walkthroughs. I'm not in, in, got all the gems and whatever the hell they're called. Listen, I'll do a walkthrough. I'll do a, I'll do a, I'll do a cheat and I'll enjoy it. So yeah, no shame in the game. Let me know what you did because I don't know what else to do. I can't do the beets. I gotta wait for that. I feel like radishes are what's sold in the desert. Let's look it up. Beets. Oh, it is. It is the desert. All right. Well, we'll just go get some beets then, I guess. Shit. And now we gotta wait for Pam. Oh, I should do traveling car while Pam makes makes her way over here slowly but surely. A leak is nice. That's nice because I feel like we needed a couple of those for. The mixed seeds, what is it? It was the green tea. Green tea requires wild seed fiber wood. Wild seed is leek daintily and daffodil wild horse shed. I think we have those things. That would be nice to be able to grow that green tea leaf. All right, we got a daffodil. <gasps> we got a wild horse radish, amazing. Oh, okay, awesome. So then we just need fiber and wood. Hey, -o. we got that. Yay, tea sapling, finally! Okay, it takes 20 days to mature. Produces tea leaves during the final week of each season except winter. Okay, so we're just gonna bring this to, um, we're just gonna bring it to Ginger Island. Now I gotta get all these, cause what if they're artifacts and you know I'm in desperate need. Also, I totally said we were doing the notes and I didn't do that. So duh, that's the next thing we're doing. It's okay, I had to get all this admin stuff out of the way first. Next time we'll do notes. Penny sure does like old books. I like how objectives are so interconnected here because like you can't just run off with this task because you need to get the, the bus, which means you have to finish the uh, traveling cart. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? It only takes six days, nice. So not next time, but the time after we can um, finish that quest, which is fun. I'm gonna go to Ginger Island so I can plant the tea leaves and these freaking beets. Or, <gasps> what if I could do like the quick grow at Pierre's? You think, you think, you think, you think? Give me that quick grow, boy. Speed grow. Might as well try it, you know? It doesn't work, it doesn't work. I do wanna say, whoever has 100%ed Stardew, you have my utmost and undying respect. 
Like that is not an easy feat. That takes commitment. It takes gusto. It takes moxie. It takes knowledge, willingness to learn. Did I say commitment? It takes commitment. It takes skill. Crazy. Crazy. Y'all are great. Alrighty. Here to put my speed grow down. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a specific area so that I know where they are. I'm gonna do right here. You know what? I guarantee you some of these are beets. Guarantee and I just forgot. Alright. I'm gonna put the green tea leaf right here. What do you mean I can't put it down there? Okay, fine. Put it there. Weird. I hope I don't think that's a weed and I and I whack it. Don't let me think that's a weed and whack it. How do I like not make myself do something stupid like that. I don't have wood to make a sign. I don't trust myself. I do have stone. I can make a stone sign. Hell yeah. <laughs> Putting it right here. Don't do it, you dumb dumb baby. I'm just, I'm blocking it. So I can't even see it. I love the mango and the banana. So cute. I remember when he was doing polls of like, what, what fruit should I do on the update? And we said banana. I don't remember mango. Maybe that was like a second. Okay, so I'm coming back because I want to start off the next one with the notes. And I want to be here to do that as early as possible. So I can run around and check for notes. 40 coppers. Okay, you can keep them. I'll accept Clint, but I don't think I can do that. I don't think I have 40 coppers. Especially if you want them fresh. That ain't happening. All right, well, let me just do little random cleanup things. I got everything sorted. I gotta do these. Okay, you want- Oh, I have one of those now, I think! Isn't that what I just got? I might have just sold it, which would be so dumb of me. Green guy, green guy. I did sell it! Why am I so dumb? Or did I bring it to Ginger Island? <sighs> I might have brought it to Ginger Island. Let's hope. Here's to hoping. Also, did anyone, um, did anyone mention what to do with the ink? I don't think so. I think I would have remembered that. All right, we're gonna see if I can do pineapple. I can, wow, pineapple, pineapple jam? I don't know how I feel about that, actually. We've cleaned up over there. Let's come over here to the cute little greenhouse. All right, nothing. I feel like we need more lights. I'm gonna put some lights up there. Getting some freaking lights. Where did I, did I keep it? Just kidding. Well, maybe I could craft some. I kept it at uh, Ginger Island. It's okay, let's see if I can craft some. And I need to fix that brazier anyways. Which brazier is the right brazier? Oh, I think I bought those from one of the festivals. Shoot. Okay, well, we can do... It uses so much coal, though. It's okay. It's okay. We'll live. We'll live. It's fine. <gasps> I forgot how magical it is in there. I love it. It's like a little fairy house or something. Here we go. <gasps> so cute. Yay! Oh, it's adorable. It's so cozy and warm. I love it. Okay, we're whenever we're at that next event, I don't know what it's for, what it's from. Maybe it's the luau. I don't know, but don't let me forget to get those. All right, going to sleep for the night. I need to rest up <gasps> for my very early day tomorrow. I love you. Let me do some cozy. Corner time, cozy corner time. Okay, co cozy corner hashtag time is Torchy. Torchy, it's great to see you on the hashtag with this very cute little Animal Crossing picture and a little sunflower, I love it. Also, shout out to Torchy. Torchy is, go Torchy is going full time with content creation after graduating, which is so exciting. I am so proud of you, that is just, that's amazing. Yeah, so definitely support Torchy. Torchy, and if you're in the comments and you're watching, drop the links, drop the all the stuff. We'll try and find your links and put them, boop, put them up. But yeah, Torchy streams, Torchy has TikTok and Instagram. Shout out Torchy, just in general, all right? And then the cozy friend of the week is Fifi online. Fifi posted a very cute little video of them and their cat watching the Stardew playthrough, and I love it, it's so cute, little kitten cuddles. Thank you very much. Okay, and then also, Tree Thanes. 
Tree Thanes um, posted a very cozy looking picture watching the playthrough. Thank you for watching. And also another one. <laughs> I told you I'm just gonna I'm gonna lump everybody in. Cozy D Crossing posted a really cute picture um, watching the playthrough. Actually posted a story of the playthrough and me shouting them out on Cozy Corner, which I love. I love the meta. The meta moment we're having we're having here um and then cozy leon had the nicest caption um about the playthroughs and i feel like it kind of captures what i was talking about today of just like we've been through so much together and we've chatted through so much and i love y'all very very much i will see you next week i will see you next week i can't wait to give you updates about comic-con and i love you bye stay cozy you hear me almost forgot stay cozy i love you bye <laughs>